February 9th, 1944, somewhere in Italy. Dear family, it has been a hellish bit of a night duty, admitting critically wounded patients on the double, getting them cleaned up, starting IVs, changing dressings, getting them something to eat if they could, and giving medications. You have to keep involved records of everything for the Army. That's as it should be. To compound the misery, it started to pour and the tents leak. They are filled to overcapacity. There was no place to put the poor soldiers to keep them dry. We're high up in the mountains and it gets better cold. Noisy too. The big guns boom all night long and shake the ground. My fingers are so cold I have to warm them over my candle so that I can hold the pen to write. The Germans bombed and strafed a hospital on the beachhead a few days ago. Latest reports listed 23 dead and 68 wounded. The dead included two nurses, six patients, 14 of the hospital personnel, and a Red Cross worker. The dead patients were in the receiving ward with wounds suffering at the front and were waiting to be operated on. The hospital was more than half a mile from the nearest military target. Fragmentation bombs were dropped on the operating and administrative areas and the ward tents. Two litter bearers were hit while carrying a chest case to the operating ward. The men tried to hold up the litter, but they had to let it drop. The report said the patient has a chance of pulling through. Incidentally, we too were scheduled to go on the beach head of our orders were canceled at the very last minute. Mother, I felt your prayers for me are getting top priority. We were also scheduled for the Salerno landings and they also were canceled at the last minute. I wish you could see me tonight. For a change I swore I was going to be warm. Over the first layer my long woolen underwear, and a wool sweater, a wool olive drab shirt. I wear a pa pair of men's fatigues. My GI shoes, which are two sizes too big for me, are also men's. They are covered with mud to the tops. Warily, Jackie.